Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate, the place where you learn how to cook delicious Italian recipes. Today we're making the king or the queen of all the sauces, of all the pasta sauces, the basil sugo. It can be a beautiful sauce for your pasta, for your chicken, for your meatballs, for your pizza or for anything else that you like. Today I'm showing you the secrets of how to make an amazing, insanely delicious pasta sauce. Follow me step by step. To make the perfect, perfect sauce, pasta sauce, don't call it gravy, please, it's a sauce. You need to follow these steps, guys, and trust me, you will love it. Now, extremely important, you need to do the base of the sauce. You need to do the soffritto. The soffritto is when you mix these simple ingredients, extra virgin olive oil, top quality of course. You get onion, you get the celery and you get the carrot. You need these ingredients. Without these ingredients you cannot make the sauce I'm talking about. It's very important to use beautiful fresh basil when you make tomato sauce. And here we have a beautiful basil from the garden. So we're gonna use uh, celery which we're just gonna chop it like this because we're going to blend it. Then I'm going to use about 100 grams of carrot. And this is already washed. We're using about one carrot, which is about 100 grams. Okay, and again, we break, break it like this. And then we need to use about 100 grams of onion. So what I'm going to do with the onion, I'm going to cut it like this, because this is about 100 grams, okay? Just do this, and we're going to blend it. So. When I say blend, this is the base of a tomato sauce. This is my grandmother, many Italian grandmothers, what they do is they chop up these ingredients very thin and then they cook it with extra virgin olive oil. Well, I found this solution, which I think it makes the sauce give more flavor because we're gonna make a puree right now of these ingredients. So we need to put about 100 grams of extra virgin olive oil, good quality. Then we're gonna put the carrots in there, in there. Then we want to put the celery, break it if you want. Then we put the onion, and then we're going to blend these ingredients until we get a beautiful cream. See, here we created a cream made with carrots, celery, and onion. And this is what's gonna be the base of our tomato sauce. Important question. What tomatoes are we gonna use for the tomato sauce, for the best tomato pasta sauce? Okay, we got three, four options. You have the option of using passata from the shop. You can just buy beautiful Italian passata from the shop, easy to go. You can make your own passata, which is tomato puree. When I say you make your own passata, it means if you live in USA, Canada, Australia, you need to find the best tomato supplier of Roma tomatoes, but it needs to be the best. So what I recommend you, so you don't go wrong, you can use peeled tomatoes in a tin, like this one. This is a tin of two and a half kilos, or chopped tomatoes. So that's what I'm using today. I'm using chopped tomatoes. There is one important thing you need to remember. You need to use Italian tomatoes, please. And Italians are proud for the sweet, juicy tomatoes that we have in Italy. They're so unique, they grow in you know, a beautiful soil, and they do make the difference. So we live in Australia and we have beautiful fresh tomatoes, great for salads, great for many things. But for the tomato sauce, for pasta sauce, my recommendation is try and buy the Italian tomatoes in the can or the passata, made in Italy. It just makes the difference. So I'm gonna touch with my hands, I wash it, I'm gonna show you how it is, see? We have beautiful Italian tomatoes in there. It's gonna kind of make it easier for us, but not really. I, like I said, I prefer peeled because we still need to go, we still need to go and blend them later on. So, but look at that, see? We've got beautiful pieces of tomatoes. Let's make the magic begin. First thing to do, turn, uh, turn on the heat, we want the fire on, it needs to be gentle, very, very, very gentle. So put it down because you, you don't want to burn the ingredients. You want to do this slowly. And we're going to put a little bit more extra virgin olive oil. So 
I would say about three, four tablespoons. Then what we do is we're going to add a mixture here, the mix of carrot, celery, and onion. And this is what's in Italian called the soffritto. Now, like I said before, many nonnes don't do that. They will never blend it. This is my solution. This is how we do the Vincenzo's Play tomato sauce. This is how we're selling our tomato sauce. This is a secret of how we make Vincenzo's Play tomato sauce, which we sell at our markets and in the stores. And this is gonna disappear in the tomato sauce. And this mix right here, this sofrito right here, your kids will love it. You know how difficult it is sometimes to get your kids to eat vegetables? You give a tomato sauce, it's kids approved. They love it. Now, this moment here, we need to wait about 10, 15 minutes, even 20 minutes, to slowly cook it. So I will cover it, and you really need the flavors to make love together. You need them to take time to get together before we put the tomato inside. So while the ingredients are cooking over there, I'm going to blend the chopped tomatoes. I'm blending them now because the pan I'm using today, the pot I'm using is not stick, so I don't want to ruin the pan. Here we have a passata. Okay, so after about 10 to 15 minutes, we have here a sofrito is pretty much done. I would recommend you to keep an eye on it, you know, just to make sure it's not burning. And see the color is darker. That's what you want. It's darker in color. The flavors are in there. It's saying to me, yes, it's ready. See? So let's put the tomatoes inside. In this moment, it's very important. So let's put our tomatoes in there. Beautiful tin of tomatoes. And now we want to stir it very, very, very well. At this point, you need to let it slow cook for as long as you want. But you need to remember, we don't want watery sauces. So I'm adding an ingredient that my grandmother always uses. And the only one that she knows how to use, rock salt. She doesn't know how to use any other salt. Rock salt, I would say to put about 10 grams for the amount. This is about 10 grams, put it in there. And just a crack of pepper for now, because we'll put more later. Just a little bit of pepper from now. We don't put the basil. Basil is the last ingredient that we need to put, and we put that right at the end, because we don't want to cook the basil. We want the sauce to get the flavors of basil. So, as you can see, there is nothing else to do. We are going to cover this beautiful sauce, cover it, and we just wait from this moment about one hour to one hour and a half. This is how I love to make a top quality sauce. Go and stir it every now and then. See you soon, guys. It's almost one hour. And what we do now is we remove the lid and we want all the steam to go. We don't want that anymore. Otherwise, it's gonna make our sauce too watery. So I want the sauce now to become thick. So for the next 30 minutes, 45 minutes probably, I want this to be cooked without the lid and I want the water to disappear. So this is gonna be nice and thick. It's a beautiful sauce already, very nice. Guys, today I'm sharing with you the secret of our success, the secret of our tomato sauce, what we put into each Vincenzo's plate bottle of tomato sauce. The secret is now available for you, anytime, anywhere, right now, on YouTube. Guys, after one hour and a half, this is the moment when we're going to add the basil. So, fresh basil from the garden is a must. What you do is you don't cut the basil. You break it with your hands and you just put it inside. So make sure the heat is off. You don't want to cook the basil. You want to add the flavors of the basil. And this is organic basil, of course. It's a fresh basil from the garden. Nothing better than that. And yes, it does make the difference because if you do use the basil from the shop, you're not gonna get the same thing. So as you can see, 
I'm not calculating how much, but I will say on the amount I'm using, I would say about at least 75 grams of basil is what you need. 75 grams is the minimum I recommend you to use. Okay, I think I can mix it now. What we do now, we mix, and the basil is not gonna cook, but it's going to reduce, of course, in the sauce because it's very hot, and it's going to give the flavor right now. This is how you make the perfect homemade tomato sauce, pasta sauce, call it whatever you want. I call it basil sugo, sugo al basilico. Look at that. I want you to think of me when you have this. I want you to, to in a good way or bad way, I don't know, but I want you to say, this guy is good. This guy is sharing the secret with me. Yes, that's what I'm doing right now. And now what we do is, what I like to do is, let it cool down for a few hours. Even overnight is good, as long as you put the lid on. And at this time, we're gonna put the lid on. But I wanna show you one thing. I wanna show you that this is a perfect sauce. Now, this is how we see if the sauce is good or not. The white plate test. So what we do is we get uh, an amount of sauce over here and we want to see if it's watery. If it's watery, I didn't do a good job. If it's thick, I've done a very good job. Are you ready? Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the sauce passed the test. As you can see, there is no water around. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the best part of the video recipe. This is the part where we are going to try it, we're going to eat it <laughs> and taste it. It's always best to try these sauce with a slice of bread. That's what I recommend you. But I just love it the way it is. I can't resist it. Mm. So thank you so much for watching this episode. We will see you on the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's plate. Oh yeah, now the question is, what pasta are we going to use for this? Huh? <laughs> Hi, and welcome to Vincenzo's plate, the place where you go. <laughs> okay, so, Hang on, I'm if we use so much, oh, I got some on my face. <laughs> Hello. Um, <laughs> my God, I've got tomato sauce all over my face. You need to be careful if it explodes on your face. It can happen.